Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we are playing World of Dota, which is of course made by Panda Life. And in particular, we're playing as Naga Siren, who was one of the new heroes added in the five new heroes batch that was released recently. And uh, we're currently just kind of working our way through those. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's get right into the game. Hello, friends. We got ourselves Naga Siren, which is a very exciting character. Now, let me start out by saying we're going to go for the strength path, but not really. Like, <laughs> we are kind of going for the strength path, but we're not going to build it the way the strength path wants us to build it. The strength path is really strange because it's very, very powerful, but it has a couple of upgrades in it that are actually either actively detrimental or kind of useless, which means that we have extra points that we can spend. Not only do we have extra points that we can spend, um, we also have access to some really nice synergies if we spend those points in the other paths. So let me just go ahead and show you, first of all. This right here, removes mirror image, reduces the number of attacks for Riptide. This is terrible. We're never going to scale this. Because Mirror Image is an amazing ability. We don't want to lose Mirror Image. Mirror Image is one of the best illusion spells in the game. And honestly, reducing the number of attacks on Riptide isn't really that useful if we don't have Mirror Image to properly use Riptide. Like, I did that build earlier where I, I did just go for that and we just don't trigger Riptide anywhere near as frequently as we would if we just had Mirror Image. So we're just going to keep Mirror Image. We're not going to get rid of it. There's another thing. In here we've got Reelin, which in theory is nice. You can read it. It amplifies our damage, pulls things in. But Reelin has a little bit of a curious problem where Reelin ends if you have pulled your opponent all the way close to you. That's just how it works in normal Dota, and it, it makes sense, right? Like, once you've pulled your opponents all the way towards you, um, then Reelin ends because there isn't really a benefit for you to keep Reelin going. However, in here, Reelin mostly acts as a damage amplification effect, where you deal bonus damage while you're using Reelin. But the problem is, of course, that it's gonna end as soon as we pulled somebody close. So it just kind of like ends because we are in melee range, you're trying to attack anyway. And then it it just doesn't work properly. Like it just it just doesn't work the way you want it to. It's it's bad. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds kind of harsh, but it, it, that's what it comes down to. It's just not very good. So that's kind of a problem, right? We have some upgrades there that are not very beneficial. But that's fine. It means we can get other stuff, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna become universal. Because this path, the strength path, actually is pretty fantastic because it has this. Ensnare deals physical damage per second 160% of our attack damage. Of our attack damage. Not of our strength or something like that. Of our attack damage. So Universal is incredible. It synergizes with items. It's super strong. And also, Ensnare works through magic immunity. And Ensnare cannot be dispelled. And we gain 75 bonus damage. Those upgrades are actually got here like they are so freaking good and that's exactly what we're gonna try to use so yeah that's the plan hope that makes sense anyway uh, let's get ourselves some extra damage here and for now we're gonna rely on mirror image the problem as well is that if you don't have mirror image naga siren is actually a super slow farmer it's it's just not very impressive it's kind of sad to be honest uh, but with mirror image well, it's Naga Siren, one of the best farmers in Dota. Like, <laughs> like she's amazing, right? So, yeah. Anyway, we also want to go for a little bit of um, minus armor, which is, which is handy, right? I mean, I guess we have inbuilt minus armor as well, but we deal physical damage with the Ensnare. Um, we have, of course, Riptide, which provides minus armor, but I, I found in the Soul Cross earlier to be very effective. Um, but yeah, but I guess since we're going universal, we actually don't need to worry so much about... Hmm, interesting, okay. And Snare deals physical damage equal to a percentage of our attack damage. Sorry, I'm just kind of like thinking what our item build is going to be. I'm thinking probably still a Diffuser Blade, right? Yeah, I mean, we are universal. We are going to be universal. So Diffuser Blade makes sense. Manta Style is probably a little bit overkill in terms of Illusion Summoning. We don't need a Manta Star. The problem with Manta Star is that the illusions just kind of like get killed. 
It might still be good. We'll see. Right? We'll kind of have to wait a little bit and figure out what our opponents are doing. Can we stack this? No, not in time. Not in time. That's all right. We'll just rotate back. Um, level up and snare. I don't want to level up more Riptide right now. Not because it's bad. It's just we don't have enough skill points. And Ensnare is incredible. Like, it's super, super strong. So we want to make sure that we are leveling it up to use it. Is there an Abaddon down here? Ah. But this is probably not going to happen because of the ultimate, right? Oh, he didn't skill it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I tried it. You know, that is a kill that if Abaddon has his ultimate, we never get. We can never get that kill. Oh, he was level 5. But I just checked at the top. I just checked at the top. Alright. Sorry, I checked up here to see. Oh, hello. Net. And another kill. Sick. I mean, that's great working out very well for us. Level this up. Now, Ensnare deals 160 of 160% of our physical damage per second. I mean, that's that's huge. That's an enormous amount of damage. Especially if we're going to become universal, right? <laughs> and then especially because you won't be able to dispel it. You won't be able to, um, you know, prevent it with magic immunity. It'll just, it'll just always deal the damage. And I also think this path is fun, because what it does is it kind of recreates classic Naga's Iron a little bit. Because in case you don't know, in case you don't know, old school Naga's Iron and Snare was the filthiest ability in the game. Because what it did is it allowed, oh, it, it had those properties. It wasn't purgeable and it pierced magic immunity. So you just... Kind of couldn't do anything against it. <laughs> it's brutal. Alright, I mean, that seems like a really easy win for the Undying. Oh. Yeah. I guess you can wait. I mean, there's no harm in closing out the kill. I'm not sure what the Anti-Mage could possibly do to you. So, no need to overthink it, my friend. No need to overthink it. The only uh, kind of downside of this is that unfortunately this right here will remove Song of the Siren. But admittedly, Song of the Siren, as much as it is the best ability in the game, that isn't true for World of Dota. Right? Song of the Siren is the best ability in Dota 2, but that's talking about regular Dota 2. And so, yeah, it'll be a little less effective here. Wait, what happened? Why did I take so much damage? Was that the charge? I'm, I'm just gonna go heal, I guess. I mean, we're nearly dead and I don't have illusions anymore. Is it Day Stalker? Um, no, it's Night Stalker. So it's Strength Night Stalker. The shield exploded. Was that enough to kill my stuff? It's kind of crazy. Alright, we're about to become a strength hero. So let's swap this over to strength. Hello. Oh, it's just an illusion. <laughs> Alright, we have enough for our diffuser blade now. Hello. And after diffuser blade... What makes sense? We're gonna need satanic. Ooh. Yeah, we're probably dead here, but I mean, I'm just going to try to attack him. Yeah, Not much we can do. Not much we can do. After the Fuser Blade, we definitely want an Orchid. Maybe I just start out with that. Maybe I start out with a Mage Slayer. Or just Orchid. An Orchid is okay. It's not super expensive, and it, it is very powerful. Because with Ensnare and Orchid, you know, that's essentially a stun. So we've got our Diffuser Blade. Hey, with Illusions, Diffuser Blade is gonna be good. It's just how it is. <laughs> oh, hello. I don't know that we are strong enough to take this on yet. 
Yeah, that's definitely a bit of a factor. We are Naga Siren. Uh, we're not necessarily gonna be the strongest right away. We need a little bit of time, a little bit of um, farming space. Which is currently skis. But that's okay. We're just gonna keep working. We're just gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep praying that we get some opportunities. Oh, hello. Oh, this is maybe bad, but I'm just gonna try to kill this before the Night Soaker gets over here. Good. Oh, hello. Good to see you. Sorry, it says here that you've been diagnosed with a bad case of YouTube-itis and the only cure is to leave a like on the video. So, you know what to do. Good luck. Hello there, bud. Oh, this is not going so well, is it? Maybe it is? Yeah, no, I mean... Oh, God. Of course. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just a Nagasar. Oh. Yeah. Nothing I can do about that. So each attack has a chance to uh, cast and snare for one second on all enemies in a radius. But I'll get the um, damage reduction here first and then... So this just is a one second in snare. It will only deal its damage once. Uh, it's still nice, but it has a three second cooldown. So it's not like crazy strong or anything, but it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that was definitely a bit of an unlucky sequence. Look, it's World of Dota. It is how it is. Just hit him. Okay. I mean, I'm fully expecting somebody else to show up. Like that. But I still got the kill, so that's good. <laughs> oh, man. If that were to happen again, I would be very sad. But we're we're fine. We're still alive. And we managed to get the kill. And we're farming. So long as we can avoid some duels while we're getting strong, we'll be in good shape. And we'll level up Riptide. We don't need more than one level on in our ultimate. There's Reelin, which we don't care about. It just kind of doesn't do anything. Right? What's that Abaddon build? Oh, it just kind of takes away all of his abilities and gives him this silly charging move, which is... Uh, it's not very good, <laughs> but it is funny. Alright, there are no creeps here. I would like to find some creeps eventually. That would certainly be handy. Ooh, this is handy too. Take down the tombstone. That's worth a little bit, right? And with that, we have our orchid. We need some extra base damage. Because we care a lot about damage. And then we need to just invest some point into some points into strength, unfortunately. Uh, probably just get the two points of magic resistance. Since that seems like it should be useful. Alright, there's Orchid. Next up, uh, Ioscati wouldn't be too bad. I actually kind of like the Manta. There isn't that much AoE. Ah, I guess there's a Pudge. Okay, that's the real one. It's probably not enough to kill. I don't think I can catch up either. Yeah. Alright, it's fine. Let's get... Um, these all suck. Dragon scale, I guess, is alright. Probably, almost certainly, the Night Stalker, right? And then we have Magic Resistance. That seems good. We could also get some HP. We'll probably do that at some point, but... Yeah. The main difficulty now is we need to invest a certain number of points into the strength path to get all of the upgrades that we want. Um, I like to get access to all of the upgrades. Although, only one more down here should be fine because then we can get this, 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 and this, which should be enough. It's actually nice. It works out really, really well looking at it now. 
Okay. So, uh, we're going to need an Ioscali. That will be an item we buy. Although, I'm not sure if, like, right now makes the most sense. We could also get... Nah, let's just get the Ioscardi. Let's just get the Ioscardi. I like that it makes us tanky. And we already have, like, some good offensive items here. No so, it should be alright. I'm actually, like... Earlier I talked about the Assault Cross, but I don't think we need it, to be honest. Because um, we get ourselves this, which reduces... Makes the armor reduction from Riptide, like, 16? That's that's a lot. Like, I don't think we need more than that. I cannot find any creeps. Indeed. Hello? Oh, I, I found somebody. It's not a creep, but I guess we'll take it. Sick. Alright, more magic resistance. And just kind of keep waddling around. There we go. Universal Naga Siren is actually such a scary idea. <laughs> it's kind of wild, right? <laughs> They're not the most terrifying thought you can imagine. Oh, hello. So, you're killing my illusions, which I'm not a big fan of. But I have another root, which should be enough. Nice. Kind of close, uh, because that guy is tanky as hell. But we did get there. <clears throat> so now we are down here in this area, which is great, because damage reduction is something we'll always, always be happy to take. Strength, of course, is fantastic, because that just means more damage overall. So this is Rot. Long-range Rot being thrown at me. Okay, we'll need to leave this one behind. Hoping there's nobody here. Alright, we're good. Uh, yeah. It's not gonna be enough. Couldn't cast my net. Wow. Bottom net worth. I mean, I haven't been finding good creeps. That's really the main issue. Like, first of all, I'm struggling to find creeps at all. But I'm not getting any reds, not getting any blues. And that's annoying because we're actually super good at clearing them like our damage output against creeps is nothing short of excellent so yeah that's something where if we could get a little bit of luck there we go that's great just just a tiny bit that would really go a very long way take this Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, if you are... Hello, how are you doing? Sorry, bud. We'll take that kill as well. Song of the Siren. More strength. Increase the armor reduction. And we'll waddle over here. Nothing there. Nothing here. Yeah, I, I know that your one spell build is actually just the, the worst possible matchup against me. So, so that sucks a little bit for you. <laughs> oh, come on. We get this. Nice. And I'm just going to root this guy for now while I heal up. More armor reduction. Cast range would be nice. You know what? A little bit of extra cast range is actually probably worth more. Oh my god, that was brutal. <laughs> but a little bit of extra cast range is probably worth more than 
like 4% damage reduction. So we're almost done investing into strength. No Cast range is nice for ensnare, right? We like being able to root people up from a distance. Serpentine. Anybody here? No? Oh, we've managed to catch up nicely. Some good kills combined with a couple of helpful creeps. And we are right back in it. Okay, that's fine so far. I mean, that should be it, right? Yeah. Okay, can we do this? This one is definitely a lot trickier. Oh, you just ate a creep. Alright, disengage this one. I only need to survive a couple of seconds anyway. So we'll be okay. So now Ensnare can no longer be dispelled. It's a shame that we lose Song of the Siren, but I do think that's worth it. Oh, well, these always suck. What's up with this? Just getting the hey, worst um, neutral item. How's your cats doing? Hey, annoying moose. Thanks for the 21 months. Appreciate it. Are they actually doing good? Um, it's kind of nice. We ever since we moved here, Coco. One of our cats. Okay, quick update or like quick reminder on that in case you uh, <laughs> aren't fully up to date on everything that my cats are doing. <laughs> but um, one of my cats, uh, Coco, she uh, was she got sick uh, a couple of years ago, and originally we thought it was, we were actually thinking that it was like cancer or something like that. Turned out to be an autoimmune disease, so she's got something called Evans syndrome. Um, which basically means I think that her blood is attacking itself or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It, it doesn't really matter that much. The point being, I know it's Evans syndrome. That's that's what we know about it. Um, but the thing about it is also that uh, ever since we moved here, we moved out of our old shitty moldy apartment and we moved into our nice new one. Well, she's been doing much, much better. She's a lot more active. She's playing a lot more. Um, she doesn't just kind of like hide all day and, you know, doesn't really want to interact like she did before. So, um, we, uh, I, I, what I do is I take her to the vet like every three months to kind of like have a little blood test to make sure that everything is okay. And it turns out, so I don't know what value this is. Please don't ask me what it is exactly. But basically... There's a certain blood value that she has that indicates the Evans syndrome. And it's supposed to be like 130. That's like the expected value for a normal healthy cat. And hers, when we first moved here, was 30. So way below what it's supposed to be, right? But after a couple of months of living here, probably leucocytes? I think that sounds right. I think, I think that that sounds right. Oh, we're gonna need a nullifier. But anyway, point being, um, it used to be, it's supposed to be 130. When we moved here, it was 30. So horribly low. And now, without me changing anything regarding the medicine that she's taking, without changing her therapy or anything like that, she's gone back up to 100. So she's like, I think it was even 110 now. So she's just like recovering. She's just becoming healthier. And I personally think that's because of the new environment. I think it's because of the um, because of the lack of mold, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, so what we are doing now is um, we are actually, and I'm don't worry, I'm not doing this by myself. I, I, I'm, I have a vet that I trust, that I talk to, and um, we are now reducing her medicine. Like she has, she has to take two bits of medicine, and one of them she really, really hates. Uh, it's apparently very gross. She, she really doesn't like to take it. And so I asked the vet if it's okay if we try to reduce it, and the vet said that she thinks that's a good idea. So. That's what we're doing now. So she's actually, she still has to take medicine. She will probably have to take medicine for the rest of her life. Because despite the fact that, yes, the mold was making her sick or sicker, she still has an autoimmune disorder. It just 
was much worse because of the mold, right? And um, now she's getting better and uh, we're currently in that trial period of reducing her medicine. But I'm very happy with that. I mean, that's great, right? Like that she's gotten so much healthier now that we feel comfortable even trying that. Because before we moved, I mean, honestly, there were a couple of days where it looked like she was literally about to die. And uh, I mean, that was, that was, that was harsh. But um, yeah. So anyway, I mean, the thing is also that both Mickey and me, we both also feel like we are healthier here. Like we feel physically healthier, probably also because of the lack of mold, <laughs> right? <laughs> so anyway. Uh, so uh, I guess what I can say here is, uh, please check for mold. Mold is bad for you. It's it's not good. You know, just kind of like give it, give it, give it a look. Make sure that you don't have any in your place. I mean, the thing is, we were actively checking for mold, but our old place was so rotten that even with us actively checking, we couldn't find everything. Like. And I actually, I mean, it, it seems like, you know, like, why would I, you know, take the blame or something like that? But, like, I actually think there was no way for us to find all of it. Because there was so much fucking mold. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the hook. Uh, we got ourselves a kill. I died? That's crazy. Alright. So, um, we are now here. We need to get more agility. We can also increase Riptide damage. That's actually so sick. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Very good. Um, sorry. We just got back from the vet. Now a cat is on anti-immune medication because of disease and she's improving. So good news all around. That is really good. I'm glad. That is good, good, good. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, and the other one, Noah, don't worry. He's just as healthy and stupid as he's ever been. He's, he's turning nine this year. So he's becoming a pretty old cat. So at this point, we do have to be conscious of his health as well. Um, but hey, he's fine. <laughs> Again, he's just as healthy and just as much of an idiot as he's always been. All right, come over here. Very good. Um, more int. Increase the riptide damage. Yeah, kind of in a, kind of in a bad, bad spot there, but oh well. Luckily, I don't have to fight. Illusion escape sounds kind of good, I guess. Extra illusion, we'll take it. It also makes our illusion stronger, right? Yeah. My childhood home is moldy too. There was nothing to do and everybody was sick all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, like again, like in our old apartment, it was in the walls. And I, I do want to say like we were trying really hard to like combat it, you know? We were trying to capture the, 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 the water, the humidity and so on. Like to give, an, I guess, a bit of a, sam a sample. So we, um, in our closet, we kept these um, like, I guess, anti-humidity packets, which basically they just kind of absorb the humidity and fill up. So you will eventually have like, you put a little empty plastic bag in and then over time it fills up and eventually it's full of water and then you take it out. And um, we had one of those in our closets and they would fill up once a month. We've now lived here for half a year and we just out of habit put one in our closet when we moved in. And after Sorry, not half a year. After a year. We've lived here for a year. Did I say half a year? Anyway, sorry. Uh, we've lived here for a year now. And um, we put one into our closet when we moved in. And after a year, it was halfway full. Yes. 
So just to kind of like give a comparison. <laughs> How bad it was. Oh man. Yeah, apparently um, our old landlord has not managed to rent out the old place we used to live in. Because nobody wants to live there. It wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't great. So... Pick up this. Run, run, run. What do we buy next? Just a satanic, maybe? Some survivability wouldn't be too bad. Our damage output should be plenty. I don't think we need more. Funnily enough, I think an orchid is actually, like, very reasonable if we want it. Because it just, like, it lowers the cooldown on Ensnare, but that's great. Ensnare is amazing. So, we, we don't mind that one bit. <laughs> that's fine. So we could get an Octarine Core, but I think a Satanic probably makes the most sense. Right? It's also a Dispel, which I think should go a really long way. Pick up this. <clears throat> and we still need to upgrade this one into a Mage Destroyer. That's next. And then we still have our boots that we can replace. Now, there's actually like a lot of upgrading we can still do here. Which is crazy if you think about it. Like the fact that there's still so much more we can, we can buy here is amazing. Right, you can see our farming speed is incredible. Alright, let me just go pick up the Satanic and then we can immediately start over with this rotation. <clears throat> Wait, where's the creep? Huh? When does it spawn? Am I blind? Did I not time it correctly or something? No. Huh? Okay, I'm a little confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit confused, not gonna lie. Alright, we do some damage here. Our illusions are gonna get destroyed. We come up here, heal up really quick. Oh, hello. And should be it. Maybe not. Oh, come on. There we go. A little bit of a grind, but now we are universal, which bumps up our damage. Oh my god, 461. That's actually insane. Net. Oh, I gotta go. Ugh, this does so much. This does so much. And here we go. Sick. So, um... Summons an invulnerable mirror image illusion near the hero. That's probably not good. <laughs> but this is nice. We can get the harpoon, right? That's sick. We can just use that to gap close. Because we also have... Really high cast range? <laughs> That's actually so amazing. <laughs> this build is so good. That's crazy. You know, somebody in chat asked earlier about like crossover builds and if they exist. And I guess here's your answer. Yeah, they do. And sometimes they are incredible. Indeed. Okay. Well, I mean, we are unbelievably powerful. I'm just going to send the illusions over here. Let them farm this. 
How much damage does this do now? 700 damage. That's absolutely crazy. That is so insane. Oh, hello. <laughs> Get smacked. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I got hexed. Rude. Gotta go. Tombstone does a lot. I'm not sure what it does, but it does something. Deals magic damage based on your mana region. Okay. Book of the Dead, Giant's Ring, Chip Vest. I don't think I bother with any of these right now. Let's just get money. Pudge versus Nightstalker. Nightstalker has a Divine Rape here, which is kind of funny. Oh, wait, it didn't click. Oh, all right. Never mind. But yeah, I mean, we have 600 attack damage. And the great thing about it is, sure, Night Stoker also has 600 attack damage, but the Night Stoker also has, like, Desolator and a Divine Rapier, right? We have just all utility. All of our items are really powerful items. They're not just raw damage. Which is great. Could you win TI solo with this version of Naga? Uh, you can just take 2012 Naga and, and win TI solo with her. <laughs> really, what we are playing right now is just 2012 Naga. Like, genuinely comparable. In case you ever wondered, like, what would 2012 Naga feel like to play against? This is pretty much it. Got him. Okay. Damn. Okay, so that's a problem. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. I think... Honestly, it's probably fine. I can just harpoon in, right? And then kill him. Hello. Are we dead? Yeah. Damn. Okay, so I need to stop messing around. I kind of want a butterfly, honestly. I think butterfly would be really nice. But maybe that's not right. Maybe like, um, Senshin Yasha would be better? I'm actually really unsure. All right, pick up Bounty Rune. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's get some money and then we can figure out what we buy. We do need to stop dying. We just had two deaths in a row. I mean, admittedly, overall, it's not like we're feeding or anything like that. But... It's always like one of those things where, sure, you know, we may overall be 20 and 7, but it really only matters what happens in the current round, right? That's what's important. Okay, we could get damage reduction. That doesn't actually help that much. To be honest, let's just get some movement speed. So I can feel more comfortable with getting rid of my boots. Because we don't want the boots if we can avoid them. They're just not particularly impressive items at this point. <clears throat> Strip type magic damage? Yeah. So attack range not reachable? Um, you mean here? No, this is way too far away. We only have two more points. Like, we can only invest two more points at best. Realistically, 
I would be surprised if we even get one more point. I don't know where everybody is, but uh, I'm happy that we just kind of get to farm a little bit. I should definitely be using my illusions a little bit more. Undying's up there. We'll use these to check back here. Oh, this got killed. I know Undying is rotating around this center area. Oh. Clicked on the wrong unit. Alright. No problem at all. No problem at all. Okay, so let's just kind of get some stuff out of the way that we're always buying. Right, we're always getting a moon shard. We always get. Wait, that's the wrong one. Okay, that's fine. I wanted spell damage. <laughs> Oops. I wanted a moon yasha, not a moon kaya. Can I get them? Yes. It's pretty far away. It's got high movement speed. Yeah. Probably not happening. Oh, hello. Damn. I actually cannot win against it. That's a surprise, though. I'm dying getting that. Okay. Um, it's just... I think I get butterfly. I think I get butterfly. Get rid of boots, buy butterfly. They shall pay for this humiliation. Butterfly. Yeah, I mean there isn't enough time to break this tie here. Alright, we sell this. Let's roll. These suck. Wow, these are also not I guess this is this is actually this is actually quite a lot of damage, right? Yeah, all right, and this is actually pretty good. <laughs> all right, so there's a mirror shield now. It's fine, we'll just use the harpoon. Okay, come here. Okay, um, so... It's not enough. Yeah, I mean, I guess let's just buy two water books. And we get some armor? Movement speed? Let's get movement speed. <clears throat> yeah, Night Stalker looking a little spooky. Not gonna lie. I mean, the funny thing is actually that... Uh-huh. Here's our ensnare. Are we getting there? Yeah, nice. The funny thing is, this is actually objectively better if I don't have a problem getting close to people. So it, it was actually the genius play and, and we just didn't know it. He doesn't know which one is real. Admittedly, it is hard to tell, right? <laughs> because each of those illusions feels like a whole ass hero. Like, he was genuinely just swinging into them and couldn't take him down. And that Night Stalker did a lot of damage. Crazy. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you can see how powerful this build was, right? Like, I, I think you could see how powerful the other heroes were. And the fact that we could kill him without much trouble really should show you just how strong Naga Siren is. So, this was a hero where really it actually took me a little the while to find something that made sense. 
Hey, Straka, thank you very much for the 43 months. So, uh, in fact, like, actually, somebody from chat recommended this version of the build, and it's incredible. Right? I think we can all agree on that. Super powerful. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.